hello guys welcome back to this channel so this is week 4 assignment of the course and introduction to artificial intelligence so oh, these are completely my probable solutions so you know that artificial intelligence uh, is a complex course so i tried my best to give you the most probable solutions so if you differ with my solution you can please give your opinion in the comment section so we can try to sort it out and come to a conclusion so hope everyone is fine so now let's start this video so guys before watching this video please watch the video till the end without skipping and please do like the video so that we can get more encouragement to do further videos and keep keep supporting us guys and definitely subscribe our channel and please share the video with your friends and classmates so let's see the first question which of the following is the drawback of or the drawbacks of hill climbing so for the first question the answer is so i have got three probable solutions guys so the, the answers according to me are second option local maxima third one diagonal ridges and third one i mean the uh, last option plateaus so these three are the probable solutions for first question guys next let's move on to the second question second one so here they have given a problem let x be the expected number of free starts that means first try is not included in the number of free starts in hill climbing with random restarts algorithm if the possibility of success that is p it is equals 0 0.23 let y be the expected number of steps taken to return a solution given it takes four steps when it succeeds and three steps when it fails so what is 3x plus 5 so the answer will be in uh, some decimals but we have to round it off to the nearest integer so so i have got with uh, 6.89 and something so i am rounding it off to 7 guys as they said return the nearest integer so i am going with answer as 7 So I don't know exactly whether this could be the answer or not. But when I did this, I have got the answer as nearest integer as 7. Now let's move on to the third question guys. Third one. Select the incorrect statements. Incorrect statements. So for third question also, we have got three solutions. So last option in taboo search, we never make a currently tabooed step. And second option simulated annealing with temperature t is equal to zero behaves identically to greedy hill climbing search. And the other one is third option enforced hill climbing performs a depth first search from a local minima. So I have got these three as incorrect options, whereas the first one seems to be correct one. So I'm going with the last three options as incorrect statements, guys. So once again, I'm telling that uh, these are completely my probable solutions, which I have got from various sources on the internet and from va referring various lecture materials and videos. So I hope you have understood my point. So if you have any other solutions you can please give your opinion in the comment section guys so that we can provide the quality content to the users our viewers so fourth question select the correct statements they want correct statements so select the correct statements here so for the fourth question i have got two correct statements the first one is first option itself genetic algorithm has the effect of jumping to completely new parts of search space and making non-local moves and the other one is fourth option if the initial temperature in simulated annealing is set too small the search can get stuck at a local optimum so i have got these two as the probable correct statements for this fourth question guys now let's move on to the fifth question. Fifth one. So 
So fifth one, we define first choice hill climbing FCHC as a stochastic hill climbing algorithm that generates neighbors randomly until one is found better than the current state. When this happens, the algorithm moves to this new state and repeats. So select the correct statements about FCHC. If you see here, in all the options. So for fifth question, once again, I have got two probable solutions. The first one is second option. FCHC will always return the same solution as greedy hill climbing as we always take a step in the direction of increasing slope. And the other one is third option. FCHC will perform better than greedy hill uh, climbing when each state has a large number of neighbors. Now let's move on to the sixth question guys. Consider a hill climbing searching algorithm for n queens problem with n equals 4. So they are asking what is the value of 2x plus y plus 3z. So for sixth question I have got the answer as 24 guys 24. Next moving on to the seventh question. So consider the same setup as question number six. We apply the hill climbing algorithm to minimize the objective function. The hill climbing algorithm stops when the objective function becomes zero. That means no two queens attack each other. So number of steps required by the hill climbing algorithm is. So for seventh question, the answer is two. So I have got answer as two guys. Now let's move on to the eighth question. Eighth one. Assume that we have a function y equals x minus 3 whole power 4 starting at x equals 4. Which of the following values of the step size will allow gradient descent to converge to the global minimum? So for eighth question, the probable answer I have got is only one option that is second one is 0 0.25. So now let's move on to the ninth question now. Consider a state space having three states S1, S2 and S3. So the main question is starting at S1, what is the probability that we end up back at S1 after two steps of simulated annealing? So for ninth question, I have got the answer as 0.500. That means 0 0.5, 1 by 2. Now moving on to the final question of the assignment. That is 10th one. Consider the 1D state space shown by the image below. For which of the following start state regions using the greedy local search hill climbing algorithm will we not reach the global minimum maximum. So for 10th question, uh, option A, B, C and F. Are the probable solutions that I have got. So friends these are the probable solutions for week 4 assignment. So hope this video helpful for you. Uh, if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and please do share that with your friends and classmates so that it will be beneficial for them to access these solutions. So keep supporting us like this. So until the next video goodbye.